Okay, so just like we did in the last example, to open the doors, we want to add a couple triggers to close the doors. So for the most part, this step is the same. However, we are going to do something different, and that is we're actually going to add a new hotspot in this example. We want to add a new one. Now the rectangle is fine. I'm going to add it over this middle area. This is going to be our catch-all. Anytime the uh, user is dragging our character in between the doors or maybe trying to reset them by putting the character back in her starting place, we want to actually use that as the, as the uh, object to catch that and then uh, trigger the doors back to their closed states. So real quick, I want to make sure I name this trigger. I'll call it Hotspot or Hotspot Reset. Now real quick, I also see that this hotspot is above my character. Definitely don't want the hotspots above your character. So let me just drag her to the top. And just like we did before, uh, just like hotspots always want to do, they want to show you a layer, but that's not what we want to do here. So I'm going to delete that uh, trigger. Now real quick, we could, depending on the setup that you're working with, we may need an extra hotspot catch-all on either side of the door. The way this example works, I don't care that if you, if the user drags her beyond the you know the edges of the, the slide edges of the doors because uh, that's fine it's still kind of going in that direction keep the door open we still may want to go through it's only when we actually leave that area of the door start to return toward the middle of the slide or toward either of the other doors that we want to close the door so that's kind of how we're setting it up here but you very well may need uh, an additional uh, hot spot or two to uh, make yours work okay so let's go ahead and just add our triggers so new trigger Change the state. This time we also want to change the state of each door, so the door left. And we want to change it to normal. Normal is the closed state. And when user is the object is dragged over, the object is Christy. And we want to use that reset hotspot. And we're actually going to res we're going to duplicate this trigger because yeah, this one hotspot is going to actually uh, trigger two doors. So let me just copy this again and I'll paste it. So we're just adding really two triggers for every action we want. We want a trigger to open something. We want a trigger to close something. So let me double click this. I'm just going to change the door left to door right. And everything else should be OK, right? The door changes, but still the same object. That, that's, that's Christy dragged over the reset hotspot. All right, so let's go ahead and just preview this real quick. Here we go. Drag her over one door, drag her back, drag her over the other and drag her back. And that's it. You can see how easy it is to start combining these triggers to create all this additional interactivity. So in the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and get started by changing our character states as she's dragged over each of the two doors.